Employers may be surprised to find out they are involved in an unfair dismissal case. Initial responses can include confusion because you feel you've done nothing wrong and bewilderment because you don't know how this started or what you should do next. This video gives employers the information they need to respond to an unfair dismissal claim. The Fair Work Commission does not investigate unfair dismissal allegations or commence prosecutions against employers. We only deal with dismissal matters when a dismissed employee lodges an application form. We forward that application form on to you, the employer. This may be the first time you become aware that you are a party to a dispute. The registry um, handle the unfair dismissal matters and case manage them um, until they go to arbitration. Um, so they're responsible for listing the matter, contacting the parties and liaising and providing information um, as to the processes and procedures of the tribunal. You can't afford to ignore this matter as it is the start of a formal legal process that won't just go away. Even if you believe you have done nothing wrong, you still have to be involved in the process and present your arguments. It can become quite a serious matter if they do ignore it in that um, the matter will be listed for an arbitration hearing and the member presiding over that hearing will m issue directions for the formal filing of materials, statements, witness statements. The first step is to complete a response form which you obtain from the Fair Work Commission's website or by contacting us. This form requires you to complete all of your contact details and the dates that the employee started and finished work with you. You also need to explain your reasons for dismissing the employee and your response to their arguments about why they think the dismissal was unfair. It's important to follow the instructions on the form, answer every question and remember to sign it. You have to send your response to two places. First, you send a copy directly to the former employee using the contact details on their application. The second copy is sent back to the Fair Work Commission so it can go on your file. The paperwork is processed by a section of the Commission called the Registry. The case managers there prepare the files, but they cannot help you with your specific case. They have to be impartial. So um, all of the registry officers are obligated by law to be impartial, which means they don't act for the respondent or the applicant. Staff in the Commission are not allowed to give you legal advice, so the staff can't answer questions like, how can I get out of this? Have I done something wrong? Does the employee have a case? What do I need to say in my response? Will I win if I go to a hearing? What sort of payout am I facing? you need to get your own professional advice. In some states, the Commission provides a duty lawyer scheme to provide advice on some matters. Check with the unfair dismissal team if this is available in your state. If you're going to be represented, you should include the representative's contact details on your response form. The representative does not have to be a lawyer. It could be a support person from an industry body, an advocate, or even a family member. Another key question you have to consider in your response is whether you have any objections to the application. You can't object just because you think the dismissal was fair. Objecting means you are saying the Commission does not have the power to deal with the case. The Commission can only judge matters that fall within its jurisdiction, which is governed by three sets of rules. First, the employee must be covered by national unfair dismissal laws. Second, the employee must meet definitions to be an employee who has been dismissed. And third, they need to meet a number of eligibility criteria, including length of employment. Finally, an employee can't make multiple applications using different sections of the Fair Work Act. We have a special video about jurisdictional objections. It's well worth your time to watch this as it explains all of those jurisdiction rules in detail. You can also follow the link on the page next to this video for more information. So, what happens next? If you raised a jurisdictional objection, it will be listed for a conference or hearing to determine if the case can proceed. If it can't, the employee's application will be dismissed. Sometimes this is a separate conference or hearing, 
and sometimes it is dealt with at the same time as the merits of the unfair dismissal claim are dealt with. Meanwhile, the Commission will also contact you to arrange a conciliation. It's often a good way to informally resolve the matter without the time and cost of a conference or hearing. It's a service provided by the Fair Work Commission to assist the parties to settle the issues in dispute and it's a very successful uh, program whereby over 80% of matters do settle at that time. There is a separate video about how conciliations work on our website. If you choose not to have a conciliation or the one you have fails to produce a settlement, your case will go to a conference or hearing. If you wish to be represented by a lawyer or a paid agent, they will need the permission of the Commission to appear at the conference or hearing. The Fair Hearing Practice note on our website provides more information about this. You can find more details about hearings and conferences in the video about them on our website.